Both Nelson Chamisa, the leader of the CCC, and President Emerson Nengengwa of the ruling ZANU-PF party successfully filed their candidature papers Wednesday, formally entering the race for the top position in Zimbabwe's upcoming presidential elections in August. According to Newsday, today is anticipated to see the filing of several potential presidential candidates, including the exiled former minister Xavier Kasukawe, who plans to run as an independent. The NC's Love Mohamed Huku and the MDC Douglas A's Manzora will also run for office. Although they are considered long shots, Kasukawe and DUZ at Robert Chapman are nevertheless willing to try their luck. While MPs and senators pay $1,000 US dollars and $100 US dollars, respectively, to enter the presidential campaign, hopefuls must pay a high price of $20,000 US dollars. Political observers question Kasukawe's ability to file his nomination while living in exile. Analyst Eldred Masunugyot described it as improbable unless a deal has been made. But, Ibo Mendoza of the SEPS Trust stated, apparently, the arrest warrant was false and needed to be set aside immediately. The nominee need not be present in person at the nomination court. It is an election agent's responsibility. Former ZANU-PF Commissar Kosukowe wrote a lengthy letter to Zimbabweans in which he detailed his motivation for running as an independent candidate, I want to confront the culture of fear and restore optimism in the country. He claimed that the party congress did not permit for fair competition, hence he lost two chances to run for the party leadership in December 2017 and September 2022. He expressed sorrow that the party was unable to bring its members together. Let go of the past and find peace for the revolution's future. Kasukawe bemoaned the fact that the party persisted in engaging in exclusionary politics and persecuting members who had faithfully served the populace. The party, the government, and the late founding president C.D. Robert Gabriel Mugabe, despite promises to let the past be the past and restore the legacy and values of the liberation movement. He claimed that without intimidation and exploitation of state institutions, the current president, C.D. Mnangagwa, could not have achieved any position of authority in a fair and open political process. Kasukawe, who is an exile residing in South Africa, remarked that after the coup, Zimbabweans gave Mungogwa and ZANU-PF the freedom to rule, but the president didn't keep his word and squandered the support.